so. It's Thursday the 21st of September 2017. Just gone 10 o'clock. This is platform 18 Cardiff Central. I am going down there. Actually I might get a cash point for it. Big love here inside the festival. Slightly early but I might have a subway. I'm the second of the trains. That's the moving to look at it. Anyway, let's go. Apparently, running late. Although, I can see the yeah. And we're in. So, hmm, about nine minutes or so. So I'll just give it a quick once round. Obviously for Hopcraft. The tree. I can smell wood smoke. It smells really nice. The walk boys. There's some sort of saucy stuff. Two bridges. Oh, sorry, B, you're not ready. Mm. Homemade sausage rolls. Oh. Probably the judging. Join camera. All the goodies. Mm. Right. Okay. <coughs> and we're off in a coughing sort of way. This is Pamplemousse. Uh, bracket hop crap. Anyway, 170 a half, 4.6% alcohol by volume. Great Welsh beer inside the festival glass. Getting a lot of hops. No, I have to be careful here because of my cold, numbing most things. Actually, I'm hoping the alcohol will numb back. Okay, I'm going to give that a B plus plus because I'm getting a lot of hops. Really, really nice. And the hops are going up my nose as well, which I need to. It is blue lighting here, anyway. Good start. Number two. This is from Bedworth, where I live, and I knew nothing about these people. And the Green Ray Estate. Well drawn. This is their pay level. Three points. Six, eight. You can't see it from here. Scent alcohol. Five volume. There's supposed to be a hint of elderflower in there and they're already complaining that the glasses are too small and they don't give enough room for a head. Take the guitar, they're right next year. Also, they're very friendly. Nice and hoppy. Oh, that's different. It might be the elderflower, which I'm not really sure what that tastes like, especially with the cold. Nice, it's a finish. I'm going to give that a big plus plus. Really good. It's all Welsh today, really. All cask anyway so far. However, there is keg here from Pikes. No, I think they might pop over there next. Anyway, this is from the Rack D. Tuckmall Brothers. This is glow in the dark. 4.5% alcohol by volume, a dark ale. It looks dark. Again, a slight amount of hops. It could be tons of hops for all I know because of my nose. Ooh. 
Bild. Bird notes and there's something else there as well. It's really rather nice. Is it coffee? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's a B plus plus as well. I remember at the end of May I went to Pipes Brewery. And it was excellent. I think as long as you get the weather they're gonna be excellent. However, they have keg beer here. Okay, this is Black Bretty. As you would expect, 8.5% alcohol by volume. I purchased it and then discovered the alcohol by volume. This wasn't very difficult to discover because it was written on, well, you'll see it, my untapped post. So, get in the hops. So it starts out full bodied and then the alcohol hits you. Sort of burnt notes in the finish. That could finish me actually. Um, B plus in the bit, 3.25 on the untapped scale. Well, Sue and Gaza are here. Over that way somewhere. So the fighting should be soon. Um, and I've gone to Manchester. Kia beer. Tart black currant wheat, 4.8%. Vegan friendly, so I'm fine and filtered. Well, actually, it could be filtered, but it smells like coffee. Oh, slightly tart. Oh, that's nice. B plus in a bit. Not as sour as such, however, slightly sour. Anyway, brewers. Gaza Prescott from Hot Craft Brewing. And Sue Wine from Haywood Brewing. Sue Haywood from Wine Brewing. Sorry. I must be a member of camera because there you go, everything wrong as well. Right, changed it. Changed it. Like you, Roger. Yeah, no. Anyway, drinking beer. Whiskey. Oh, oh that, and this is Mr. Tutlol. Hello. How are we doing, Hello. Roger? We're fine. Nice to see you. Shumai, bud. Shumai. Bilingual beer. <laughs> anyway, he's Mr. Tutlol. This is um, Crafty Devil. You love this. 6.5% alcohol by volume. An IPA. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, guns is on. Uh, oh. Five minutes? Yeah, ten minutes. Ten minutes time. I know. Good, they seem to think it's just gin. I know, they as well. Oh, wow, that's good. You love us. You love us. Crafty Devil. Got us on stage. Oh, the people need him.
supply with uh, it's got 20 keg beers and 15 casks. We supply most of it, they may be by some of their own. We supply most of the beer, so it's always got our beer on. It's, it's one card a couple of years, two years on the run, so it's everybody else's shit. We're, we're, we're dead. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, we, basically, we, we go more for interesting beers, the hoppy stuff, all the interesting stuff. And the thing is, but South Wales as a whole is still catching up with the rest of Britain with that sort of beer. And it's still a little, you know, so we're ahead of the curve, as it were. So, uh, and yeah, we sell much better beer than. They've got a brewery called Vod, they're rubbish. They're like, they're, and, and too long, and that dog, they're rubbish as well. But, but anyway. Hello. Yeah, we all love each other, the brewery community are fans, we all love each other, don't we? We all love each other, guys. It's love, is it? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a love in the platonic way. Yeah, we're all, we're all, we all help, I think with brewing, you would have thought, you'd all be, oh, that's my customers. It's more of, you all help each other out, because we're all in it together. We're all, we've all got no money, we've all got no barrels left, we've all got no malt, we're all short of money, we've got, oh shit, we've got no yeast. I'll ring up Phil, oh Phil, can I borrow some yeast? Yeah, there you go. They ring me up every week and go, can you pick my yeah, stuff up? <laughs> <laughs> I was making an example. Cascade. Cascade. Yeah. Anyway, we rang him. I'll go to Phil and say, Phil, have you got any Cascade hops I can borrow? Go, yes, I have actually. I want them back very soon. So um, I'll say, right. <laughs> and then every week, Phil said to me, are you going to fire and get me some stuff? I said, no, I'm not. So, no. But we all help each other out and we're all, we're all friends. We all love each other. So, uh, it's a very nice community. Apart from a few people. <laughs> um, yeah. So we we do mainly cascade. Or I, I love cascade. We do a bit of keg. We don't do bottle or can. We used to do bottling, but bottling is a pain in the ass. We don't do it. But we're doing what bottles? It's a pain. It's, it's too much like hard work. Give the punters what they want. We may be. It's a bit time. We, we, we may be doing bottling again soon. <laughs> Maybe some canning, but. Again, canned beer is a new big thing. There's a lot of bad canned beer about it because the canners are a bunch of cowboys in, in, in the bay and they make, they just don't can it right. Yeah. It's more with the mobile canners, so we, we're a bit. Uh, yeah, we're just, uh, just we checking it was mobile canners. Mobile canners, yeah, right. Yeah, so uh, yeah. we're very yeah. hesitant about going for a canning, canning thing. So it's, it's difficult. I mean, can is it's, it's a big thing. Everyone wants canned beer, but. I want my beer to be right. If it's not right, I don't want to tell it. So that's why we don't moan them. Good. I'm too lazy to do it. I can't be But um, mo mostly cask we do, a bit of keg. It's, it's all fantastic. I mean, our beers are on the side. They're both really good. We've got a red one and a hockey pale one. Uh, Sue Brews, I was wine pump on moose over there. So that's a hockey sort of golden beer. So. What else to say really? You've been rolling it all before, it's all boring, right? So. Camera. Oh, yeah, cam camera. Camera. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, say something controversial. <laughs> I like your stuff. Where's the start? Right, um, oh. I've tried about 10 beers today so far, and I think most, I think at least half have been I shouldn't have been on. Uh, I've been under drinking but I shouldn't have been on certain. So. Yeah. There's a lot of bad beer. Just because it's cast, doesn't mean it's good. There's a lot of bad beer in the world. Yeah. There's a lot of bad beer in cask, on sale, there's just shouldn't, shouldn't be on. Yeah. 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 If I was a salamander, I'd have condemned a lot of beer. So, yeah. there's a lot of beer shouldn't be on. Well, you can't say you've tried the wrong ones. These 16 today, and they've all been good. Well, I've tried 10 and 5 have been awful. Half of them have been bad, but they shouldn't be on. Shouldn't be on sale, they're awful. No, no, I mean, it's not my opinion. That's, that's me being objective as a brewer saying these have got fault, the faulty beer shouldn't be on sale. But bees so, there. I couldn't possibly well, say. But what I'm going to say is, some of cask beer is, it's not all good. Like, oh yeah, keg beer. I mean, it says to you, keg beer is bad. They're absolute arse. We don't know what we're talking about. We don't want to talk about keg beer. Is usually the small brewers same as cask. It comes from the same tank. Goes in different different sorts of barrel. Same thing. How it's served, you may say, I'm not drinking keg. Just got gas in it. That's fine. You can't say that camera still sale on the side. In the programme, 
says most keg beer should be avoided. Why? It's ridiculous. It's a stupid thing to say. Absolutely ridiculous. Keg beer now has to try a bigger range of beer because cask will go off in four days. Four or five days. You can't put things like Berliner Weiss in cask. It doesn't work. Wheat beer doesn't work in cask. Saison doesn't really work in cask. Modern styles of beer that we're, that we're getting more and more of in Britain now don't work in cask. Keg, you need carbonation and, and to last longer. So, you can sell it over a period of time. Because the days of people drinking you know, 10 pints a night, thanks to the fact have long gone. So, <laughs> those days have gone forever. So, All it takes. You drink less, drink better nowadays. So, you need to sell better beer in cask. So, your beer needs to be better than not just alright, be better and not faulty. The keg beer, um, gives you a chance to be more experimental, like, you, like I say, sour beers, a bit different, but that won't sell in four days. That's why a keg lets it sell for two, three weeks. And it, it's, a, it's the same beer. I read cask beer from a tank, we keg beer from the same tank. Why is that beer not as good as that? What, what's the difference? It's totally it's wrong. The whole thing is wrong. It's the, it's the old 1960s cameras, not actually for the 1960s. Ooh, keg beer, you know, red barrel. That's rubbish. The world's moved, the world's changed. And it's about time they sort of started thinking in the modern era, to be honest. Anyway, next question. <laughs> <laughs> it is changing. Uh, you, you, you read the program, it's not changing. Uh, what did you say? The, 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 issue we, the, the issue we have is still some of these guys who don't want to be a festival. I like quotes. There we go. <laughs> Go on, guys. However, the vast majority of mass produced keg, bottle, and can beers should still be avoided. A, what's mass produced? And B, why it should it be avoided? In my personal opinion, it's probably the other way around. The, most, the vast majority of cask beer in an average pub where it might be on five, six, seven days, should be avoided, and keg beer produced on a good, I hate to say the word, craft. That's but a good word. That's a good craft, I, I sometimes I disagree with craft, but should be the standard within beer these days, is that it should be on for, you have a variety of styles on for a, a long, on for a period of time, which is as good on the day it is, first open that is, is when it is finished is the most important thing. If you open a cask and finish it two or three days later, it's brilliant. If you open a cask and finish it eight days later, it's awful. It all depends though. I mean, right. you, you can have, again, turning around that argument, you can have a, an average rubbish cask of beer, it's still going to be crappy, yeah? But I, yeah, the other thing is I've worked into a pub and seen a beer that's been on three days and is awful because the seller in that yes, pub exactly. is shocking. Of course, you're draw when, when, when you open a cask in the cellar, you're, when you pull a bit, you're drawing air from the cellar. Therefore, you're drawing in all the bacteria and mould. That's why beer needs to be sold in cask beer two, three, four days. Four days tops. Because you're drawing in all the, all the contaminants from the cellar. The beer starts to turn. That's why cask beer generally, the first day is too green, it's too fresh. Flames haven't developed. Second day is perfect. Third day is, yeah, good. And it starts to go down there rapidly. Plus, it gets full of all the um, bacteria, yeast, and so on. That's why cask beer goes off in the cellar. And people don't get that. A lot of people don't understand how it works. And that's why beer is yeah, so quickly yeah, enough. It's, it's January, was it? You've got like, yeah, yeah, 10 yeah, beers on. You should have 10 beers. Yeah, 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 I just think it's not the same stuff to I hear we're doing well as well. Yeah. Uh, well I haven't been able to get the shoes on, but the, uh, the beer was just the old back on the garden after I did the things with the mats. The world's moved on. The world's changed. I'd say the first thing I did when I came in was go over to taste taste taste. And they're all fine. They're all definitely high. Like, oh, I, I mean, yeah, I know years ago, cask was seen as the best thing, and cake was seen as rubbish. 
then Casper said, yeah, then to me, a lot of the time, I can be a pegger, which seems to be more interesting. Casper is getting more and more blander and not interesting. It's been a more interesting group. More interesting group. Yeah. So you don't see the big so you go to the Great British Bear Festival every year and for quite a long time <laughs> yeah. it's a their detriment that they avoid keg brewery because you think of siren, you think of this type of brewery and it's not just, they, they avoid those breweries at their own detriment. My thing is a brewery is I'm, it's difficult to sell interesting beer in fact because people want the more blander easy to sell stuff. That's the issue you get in there. All your beer's a bit too hoppy and all, you know, it's a bit too tasty. So you want to drink more middle of the road, less more crowd pleasing stuff. That's what we're finding. But it's not asking to me, it's wrong. Cask beer should be the pinnacle of your brewing style. But it's being more and more taken out. Keg beer is the kind of cask being taken to more middle of the roads, lander, more boring style. That's we've really got to try to fight against that. We've got to fight against that. Very big style. That's just too much. Landed fire casting. If we get somebody coming to the end, it's going to see a second cousin now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like I say, it's a more difficult to sell that sort of beer because people don't want it. The wholesalers won't, won't buy it. They want the more middle of the road, cheaper stuff. The massive problem is, the big problem in Britain now is price. Thanks to the guy, thanks to Weatherspoons, who's the biggest enemy of beer in Britain in my opinion, they are making people think beer should be cheap. Beer shouldn't be cheap, beer should be a fair price. Weatherspoons is too cheap, that's why all the beer they sell is brown rubbish. Almost 99% of it is just brown rubbish. What they pay, you can't afford it. Is that what? I'll do it. You can't afford it. Oh, yeah. With a spoon, it's have driven down the price of beer in this country. So, brewers like me, you want to charge a fair price to pay me a wage, you can't sell beer down. I'm not buying that. I'm going to get a spoon 50 quid. You know, I'm going to get it off, you know, his brewery 50 quid. I'm going to get off this brewery 50 quid. Yours is 30 quid, too expensive. No, mine's a fair price. A 4% beer isn't the same price whoever makes it. I may put 400 pounds of in. Some down there may put tankers of in. It's not the same beer. It's different beer. My beer is crafted for hops, not for, not for cheapness. And Weatherspoon is driving the price down so people are thinking beer should be cheap. It shouldn't be cheap. Beer is too cheap in this country. I mean, it's controversial to say, but beer is too cheap. I'd like to add a point if you don't mind. I make a beer called Tutti Frutti, which um, has some very expensive hops in Green Bullet, Mosaic, etc. And um, I sell it for little more than what I do my best bitters, and it's painful because I make a lot less profit on it. And you know, I've got a I've got a business to pay for, I've got rent to pay, I've got business rates, and all these different things, water, electricity, and the margin on that is a lot slimmer. And then I send it up to uh, one of the distributors I deal with, which is near the Breckenshire area, and um, they love Holy Goatale. And a few of their customers wanted Tutti Frutti. So I sent Tutti Frutti up, and they tried Tutti Frutti with another customer, and this is a very nice hoppy bitter um, light ale. And uh, they sent it back. So the two people who had the other casks loved it. I mean, it went down like a tree. This person at one pub sent it back because it wasn't to their taste. Now I have to bear the burden of that cask because I could be nasty and turn around and say, well, look, they just didn't like the beer because it wasn't brown standard beer. It was hoppier light ale. But then I might leave, I might walk away from a, 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 a nice contract I've got with this distributor. So I had to bear the burden of a hobby, expensive beer going to waste. And that's the difficulty to a certain extent is certain people, certain areas expect a brown standard beer. And if you try to make a hobby more interesting beer that has taste, you're challenging 
the cultural view of that area, which often is brown beer, standard beer brains, might be something, you know, just um, like a better bath or something like that. So, yeah, indeed, indeed. So, you know, I've lost myself a nice sail there of a, of a an exp you know, a, a cask, and I have to then replace it with something that's less on beat, which fine is cheaper. But, yeah. Don't expect that cask of it took you three to what cost fifteen quid more to make for the same price to cheaper. Yeah. It's, it's not it's not it's not gonna work. Can I I my problem is for someone of my age, I have gone into a weather school and drank what may not be the best kind of beer but has got me into ale and craft beer. I might have drank it at two pounds a pint, but now I go out and buy something of yours for maybe three fifty, four pounds a pint. And if maybe I hadn't gone in there then, I might not have been drinking your beer now. Like, and I, that's been quite because I got at eighteen, I couldn't have afforded to go out and spend something at four pounds a pint. But you're, I, not being funny, that you're quite a rarity. I think most people I, that, that I don't do that. I can accept maybe I am the exception to the rule. Many and maybe that. that sense that I am. But I would say yeah, when it's going to come to a good stepping stone, but I, I think they do more. Yeah, because the other thing is they probably spend, they probably serve the best brown beer that is around in the country. As because the myth about them buying limited age no, beer, that. that is a lie. And it serves at a good temperature. But if you're going, you'll probably get the best pint of Doombar, which I don't really like to drink anymore. And uh, it's horrible, but it is the best pint in of Doom Bar you will get. And I'd much rather drink the pint of your hot craft. The lady over there is talking sense. Rebel or Crafty Devil or whichever other local Welsh brewery. But I wouldn't have been drinking that now if I hadn't have gone to other spoons and drank a pint of ale at 18. The reason why the spoon's so cheap, they four percent beer. How will this, how will this price of seven beer would be about 80, 80 quid for a bar? Most people want to pay £48.50. That's, that's your reason. Uh, we've, I've also worked at a brewery and sold it at £58 a barrel into You can, well, oh, it's at 4 percent that was 4.3. So, it's not right, it's, um, it's just not enough. You can't, you can't, yeah. make, you can't make any money out of that. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, I yeah. know, yeah. 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 And that was, uh, I would consider that now, I would still do that now, even though I drink other craft beers, and that might be a particular scenario, and they might have been a weather spoon to go out and buy good quality beer. But I, I still think for people of my generation, Weatherspoons is an important part of getting me into drinking beer like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my personal opinion. But, yeah. Any uh, opinions, questions? Keep doing all you're doing. Yeah, I, I, can you agree. Agree. I think you'll make spawn and die. Fantastic. Thank you. My, my favourite beer we do. Yeah. Swansea in the 60s and 70s, Worthington Dark, Worthington Dark Mild, Brains if you're lucky, Occasional Bass, and that's all yeah, that. So, I mix one and die, it's my favourite beer we make. Brilliant. But the hops, the hops we put in it, it's um, all Pacific hops. It's Green Bully and Waimea, what of Australia and New Zealand. The try off is from Australia, but it's, it's called Big Secret. It's really hard to get hold of. We've stocked out about 30 kilos of it. That gives us about five brews. We can do five brews of it. So we'll keep sending it to the Queen's Edition. So, so we had it last yeah. week. We did the yesterday. I'm not sure what we took. It's not makes one die. He's got he's got beer delivery for the chapter of beer festival this October. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're looking some more down there soon. We've got some more beers for that. So. Well, we brew makes one and die in about two weeks. We, we brew it and it goes literally about a week. So. Are we going to hop on? Yeah. yeah. We try and get it always. There's some down there about two weeks ago. I, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult. I mean, that, that sells at more than people want to pay for it. We need. Well, we obviously not. We sell it all, but there's only a certain. 
customer who will pay that money for it, they will appreciate that that costs money to make. Because most people will go, well, I've got to pay that, so I can get everyone else to quick. Well, yeah, well, it's the same beer, is it? Well, that's the difference. That's, that's what we're up against, honestly. That's what we're up against. It's, I mean, with even more and more and more brews open, the price is going to go down further. It's, it's all a bit cut through. It's going to be, you know, brew. I'll start selling when you sell a brewery, you can sell beer everywhere because you, you're new, everybody wants your beer, you're new. After three months, they're either going to be very good or very cheap. Plus, honeymoon's over. You need to be good or cheap, that's the way it works. And people go, oh, you can't sell beer now, oh, well, spring will pay for it. Not much more, but that's what's going on. That was fine. So, we saw you in the map, you were with James as well, weren't you, James? Jay? Jay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's a practice one. Yeah, Jay worked for us for quite a while, yeah. He's uh, the last resort. Very close to my work. He was in. Yes, he did, yes. Yeah, like Jay's good. Yeah, good lad. He's a. He's a He's, he sort of saved us early, but when, when one of our original founders went and he stepped in and saved us early, so a lot of times he's good. Yeah, it's, uh, anybody else? Right, this is uh, a... Yeah, you've got lactose in you, guys. No? No. <laughs> no. Right, this is, as you all know, Sue from Wine Brewery. We're in our place now. It's her beer. So, yeah. oh, yeah, I can tell you all about it. Um, yeah, so, as I was just saying to all this table, I now brew my, some of my beers are brewed down at Hopcraft in South Wales, having closed the brewery that I had in Planet Lewis. And how do you pronounce it? So I've heard so many pronounce it. Wine. 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 Yeah, yeah. It's a Welsh word. It's, it's, it's the, hill, the hill that I live on is called the Wine. And originally we were going to have the brewery where we lived. And then we chose not to, but I wanted to keep the name. So it sort of, it sort of means... Um, oh, I've been to a sort of rough, rough grazing grounds. So it's, it's, it's not more. So uh, a wine, I think, is a moor, which we have at the top. It's spelt like this. It's more of a sheep grazing. I thought it was a bush. Oh, he's well. A bush. Oh, hey. 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 Um, and very luckily I was offered a chance to carry on brewing the beers at Hopper so that we could carry on with them, which we did, um, which has gone really well actually. Actually it works out really well because all the logistics are covered really, so your delivery is always under one roof, sales are all under one roof, and production is all under, so it actually makes sense really, two breweries sharing sort of facilities really, so it does work really well. Uh, Snowball was a really early beer that we did. So before I started doing more sort of hoppy beers like Pumper Moose, if you like, we were actually really well known for our stouts and porters. Um, we've done Snowball for a long, long time and Chili Plum Porter you might know as well. Both of those are quite well known sort of beers. Uh, but this is my sort of a beer. Uh, it's a chocolate and vanilla stout and coconut. So the very original beer that we did was a bit of a, an experiment. We had a friend round to come and do a brew with us and we said, what do you want to do? And he said, oh, I'd really like to do something coconutty. So we got some, uh, the, the problem with coconut is you can't really add it to a beer neat because it's quite oily. And the, you don't want oil in a, in, a, in a beer. So we had to toast it. We dry toasted it in a massive tray with a big low torch um, and added it to that. Now we've, we've ended up with, it's 7%, so you do get quite an alcohol kick off it. But hopefully, you do get quite a chocolatey, chocolatey vanilla -y taste in there. There's a lot of cacao nibs in there. And we use, instead of cocoa powder, we use carrot powder. Which is like a, a vegetarian alternative to oh, a vegan alternative, sorry, to chocolate. But it's quite a strong flavour. If you pick open the pack, it comes in a really neat form of powder. You know, in the pack, you get a really strong um, flavour. Um, 
So yeah, we've become very known for this beer. Christmas time, well in fact this year, it wasn't Christmas was it, we decided to do a few small <laughs> batches of it. So we did, um, what did we do? Like, Ras uh, raspberry and white chocolates, but not very. Blueberry cheesecake and chocolate orange. Suddenly decided it would be a really good idea to hive off a few. And just want, they sold quicker than any other beer we've ever done. And on untapped, they are by far the highest ratings we've ever, ever had. Any of the beers we've ever done. Even though he cocks up the rest of them. <laughs> so there's, there's certain um, bits that we do later on in the, in the thing. So we add some of the, 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 the ingredients to be used for flavours get added quite late. And um, yeah, you chose to do your own thing. No, but anyway, 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 so it has become, um, so we're definitely doing that again. We do a Christmas snowball every year, which is, um, yeah, that's a slightly fortified version of this, which always goes down here. That will come out again. Um, I think we're brewing it next month. Well, we're <laughs> and we get every year, we get to this time, and we think, shall we brew snowball or shall we brew chicken pump water? And it's always a difficult decision, but I think snowball will be the one that comes It's generally the most sort of But it's, yeah, it's quite a. Um, it's really nice, Yeah, you're not a dark beer drinker. Oh, it's like six months old. That's the thing about a stronger dark beer in a cask. We had one sitting, I think it, I'm not sure that you didn't have one actually, at Hot Bunker. We had one sitting in, in the cold storm for about 14 months in a cask. And with Snowball being a dark beer and strong, it just got better and better and better. And so the longer you can keep something like this, which we never keep for very long, you have to hike them away. The longer you can keep this, the better it gets. So we will probably brew it again in the next month and then keep, keep some vegetables. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? <laughs> Yeah, it was a bit forced because, yeah, it was forced. Um, and then the place we moved to, they sold the one. Yeah, and that's now been sold. Um, I think it's become something else now, but they've sold the whole thing. So. I'd love to. I'd love. I'd love to have another one. I'd love to have another conversation. I still want to talk to someone else about it. I still think it's a fantastic so idea. So I know. So I've had this exact discussion. The Swansea one was fabulous, and I, I had so many people saying how good it was. Yeah. But as an overall venue, I just don't think Swansea was quite ready for it. It was the football.
think the brewer guy said there was plenty of sort of space for more breweries in Wales. Do you agree with that? Or do you think that we're no. in the UK reaching our maximum? Because that's my view personally. We, we've had this, we have a lot of breweries. We've discussed it a lot. Um, I was discussing it with someone earlier, actually, because... Yeah, I was like, can I have a photo with you? Is that going to Peter? Oh, yes. Um, um, we, we were saying that... Can you take a photo? I like that. I was like, to a malt. <laughs> <laughs> 